Hey everybody, Asher here with another round of Star Sector where we are currently walking with dinosaurs, or specifically the Kingdom of Terra. And we have a few missions that we're going to do for some happy little rep and some double dollars or single dollars or credits or whatever you want to call it. We're going to be flying east and then going back towards green because we have a few things parked in here and some stuff we got to do. We want to try to make some money. We want to try to get some of the stuff built up. Um, we actually have some stuff still sitting in the Reuter Union cargo bay, which is all very exciting. And we have a lot of things sitting at home, including a bunch of new ships and materials and equipment that are there. So it's all very exciting. It's not as exciting for any of the AI cores that I may have to destroy this episode. We'll see how that goes, because we got a new permanent rule last time for hitting level 10. And that permanent rule is uh, we lose half of AI cores for the rest of the game. So let's go ahead and get flying. And we'll see just how much I get to cry myself to sleep. Also, we did get some uh, new things rolling up here. We got a new drill ship, lots of new other things. Kind of wish I had a carrier officer. We'll have to work on that. But I do have a lot of frigates. Honestly, I'd like to get more frigates, but we have those built at home as well as getting our first ship, uh, the Tier Morga, which is flown by Darrow of Lycos and... Like I said before, I'm not exactly sold on the auto pulse laser there. So I'll have to I'll have to kind of decide in a little bit if there's some other weapons I can get or maybe we get something from our contact back home where we spent all of our money last time as we have another Kingdom of Terra Sentinel. Good thing we didn't accidentally attack them. That would have been a little awkward. All right, so let's turn off our beacon and let's fly hopefully a little more responsibly. We're not as fast as we used to be, and the past few flights in these areas have led me to getting jumped by some Remnant Ordos that have caused me to burn some story points that I'd rather not burn. And as we get further in this save, we're going to have to start really worrying about the fact that we won't just be able to run from fights. We are going to get outgunned. We are going to have kittens apparently try to play under the desk all of a sudden, but only when I start talking. And it's been like that all day. I actually had... Um, an online hearing earlier, and man, I looked so rough. But anyway, um, it's like, hey, as soon as I start talking, the cats woke up and were like, this is fun. Um, now, we do have our sensors up a little bit higher. We have uh, the United Pan Med doing some, uh, doing some goodies here. So let's see here. We did screw up royally with the delivery mission last time. This time, Kingdom of Terra... Um, there shouldn't be an issue here. We know where the derelict ships are. We know where the ship graveyard is. It's near the inner system jump point. I should know how to do this. For those of you who maybe didn't see, I did record a little bit ahead before, which means that um, it's been a few days and there's always just a touch of rust here. So we have the hammerhead, the experimental hammerhead. They tried putting in a peen hammer, I guess. That's That sounded way worse than I meant for it to. I wasn't going for that joke. All right, so do we salvage? No. Ball peen. It's a real thing, I promise. Um, do we, you know what? We're not like worse off with the Cyanation people. Like they don't hate us. Let's go visit and see real quick if they have anything, any like work for us to do. Also should probably check and see the missions here. Although it looks like um, we're just getting some more stuff here. I have really awoken the cats with my uh, talking again. So, still administrations, nothing. The bar, on the other hand, we have a scarred spacer. You can pay 20,000 credits. Gets closer to a new ship. I've got, uh, let's see here. They tore up half of our fleet. You know what? I'll pay for it. So, we have another terraforming rig. Well, shit. I don't know if I can take on the terraforming rig at this point, but maybe I can. You know what, maybe, maybe we just go for it. We got, we got a bunch of little ships. We go for a bigger ship. Um, that takes us in the wrong direction. We could definitely do that one. Um, that takes us in the right direction. Freighter, freighter for 80,000. It seems like there's something we're not getting here, but I think I can definitely take this. Um, other targets, more challenging target for 130, but we gotta go north. That is that is way more challenging. Um, unsanctioned bounty board. No, let's military. Whatever we got, let's go. Let's go east. All right. So 25 light years. Let's let's give it a try. 
So we got a pirate bounty. Everybody loves pirates, right? Obviously, we're going to need to buy a little bit more fuel for that, and we might as well be buy a few more supplies. Well, we don't have money because we just spent all of our stupid money on buying another bit of info for a terraforming rig that uh, is not going to get us anywhere. So let's um, let's sell some of this heavy equipment just for some upfront cash. That should be enough on the supply, so we should be okay. All right, this is this is going to be fun. Um, First off, how badly did I screw myself? Accepted mission. We have 90 days to get to a terraforming rig that is right next door. Now, it might actually be guarded by something. I guess we'll have to see. Well, you know what? We're doing it. We've actually been in that system, right? Terraforming rig is... Wow. It's right by the fringe jump point. I guess I, guess I knew that. Okay. Neat. Small... Small galaxy in space. Really? I don't know why you're pursuing me. Like, I just engaged... I just put a little bit of um, heavy machinery on the black market. There's... There's nothing too big about that. All right. Well, um... I guess we go to the fringe jump point up here, and we hope that this terraforming rig is not a disaster. Um... And we have an order that's flying up here too. So we have 90 days to do this. We can explore. There's automated defenses. There's just the one. It is a standard drone battleship. We have a lot of ships here. We have a lot of demods. Let's engage. And obviously we're going to bring as much as we can here. This is still a really difficult fight for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. All right, look at all the demods we have. I should have derelict contingent already. Yeah, are you um are you scared as I am? Caution, it's a guardian. So remember when I said, hey, we should really put some work in with um, what's that thing called? Derelict, con not derelict contingent. Look, oh that's right, it has shields. Everybody's just trying to run around. We f we just take this thing head on. Like that's that's all we have to do today. We just gotta. Get its fire out of here. We gotta just try to hit it from behind. Preferably not fly right into the firing range, just like that. Alright. So we got a lot of work in here. We're drilling it. We are drilling, we are drilling the thing, and I am contributing absolutely nothing because I cannot fly. But look at this, we are doing almost no damage to it. But that drill that drill's working real hard. And now I am flying, actually, right in the front of the fire here, so... Let's see if we can uh, cook it a little bit. Oh, we're... We're doing some work. I can't get a shot in to save my life because, uh... We have other people around us, and everybody... Ooh, we actually got it. I really was not sure how this is gonna go. We, um, lost this frigate again. But we only lost this frigate. I did no damage there. I need a new ship. Or one that's not gonna get blocked out by everything else. I'm impressed! We have a disabled ship available for recovery. Oh, I was really hoping it would be the Guardian. I don't think even with this mod set we can recover the Guardian, though. So let's continue. We're, this frigate is gone. Rip. Hey, no, uh, no cores. That's interesting. All right, so definitely a spicy start. As everybody's getting all this experience they can't use. Um, salvage operations. See, I should should be more ambitious than what I'm trying to get. And we got another weather manipulation core. Huh. I think that's the one I've gotten a tip about before for uh, ways that I can manipulate the weather in other star systems. So, and we can't, we can't double tap. Oh, we can double tap. Okay. And it's just supplies and metal, but you know what? I will definitely take that. I think we've actually explored everything else we can here. So what what other business do we have? We have we have a bounty, a quilted quicker picker upper. We probably need to do that first. There's not a ton of these guys, but I do want to see here in the in the latest combat log. Like the Queen of Jupiter, look at that damage. Oh my god. Yeah, that's um that's legit. Took some hull damage, but the tunneling drill. I was I was informed that it was overpowered. 
Um, Scary Spice 3, I've been told there's another Scary Spice sitting around as well, but that Medusa doing some work at the Phase Lance. Um, lots, every everybody contributing except for uh, Jean-Pierre. Probably for the best. At least I didn't die. This frigate, uh, we'll let it go, Barry. Let's we'll see. But not everybody is even able to get a hit, so that's that's just the kind of fight it is. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some more action over here. But once again, we got to watch out for Ordos. I know I know they are out there. We got to watch our supply and fuel count too, to be honest. So see, there's there is someone maintaining contact with my fleet. We are going the opposite. Ooh, actually, there's a sort of cross section here for the hyperspace stream. So. Maybe we can make it work if we, even if we don't e-burn. No, we got to e-burn. Oh, shit. Okay. It's like trying to do some uh, shit where we're doing. Oh, my God. We do not want that. Uh, that is a whole giant pirate fleet. I have a feeling that's like a bill collector fleet. I, I actually think we wouldn't do like the worst against it, but we would die. So they're e-burning after us. They're e-burning after us in a slipstream. Can we e-burn too? Yes, we can. What is the golden rule of Star Sector? You let them e-burn first. We got another thing pursuing our fleet, so that's exciting. Can they all fight each other, please? <gasps> I think they're gonna fight each other. Yes. Okay. We uh, we followed the five rules of dodgeball. We dodged. We dipped. We ducked. We dived. We dodged, and we can see the little sparkles out in deep space. So that's that's uh, that's a good move. Um, I am a little concerned about our fuel situation here going into some of this shit, but we're gonna go dark because we're not too far. We just want to make sure we have enough fuel for Gream. Graham? I should know the name of how to pronounce my system. I ran into this in the last save, too. Um, but we've done we've done our um, terror stuff here. Worst case is that we fail for this one and we do this one. So we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. We definitely want to do the bounty, though. So um, let's, let's get down to it here. After we get through this terrible hyperspace storm... And there's going to be an Ordo on the other side or some shit, so... My my number one goal of this episode, other than not dying, is to possibly make it through without having to use a story point to dodge stuff, which this is going to be great, because it's probably about to happen right here. I just got another sensor ping up at the 12 degree stuff here. So we're going to go dark again, and we're going to try to dodge what we knew was there. I remember, I remember this from before. We've actually gone this way quite a few times. And somehow, going dark works in deep space. Apparently it doesn't work really well when you're trying to do a cyanation delivery where if you just walked in like a normal person. It's like stuff I run into sometimes at work or just in life in general. It's like, you know, if you just don't be weird, if you just act like you're, you're where you're supposed to be, people won't get suspicious. Um, Zeta Vigil. Um... I don't know where this is. We haven't actually been to this system, but it's not a very big system. So this should be fine. Hey, there's a distress beacon. I have a feeling it's a trap. My kitten agrees. Okay. Hey! Hey, guys. I think you have chewed more off you more than you can bite off. That's not how the saying goes, but, but look at this. Calm link. It's fine. Oh, I must have left my transponder off. Silly me, hee <laughs> hee. I'll be right on my way. Really? No, we're moving in to engage. And uh, like I said, this is a this is a solid bounty for not a lot of stuff here. I don't want to deploy that shit, but we're gonna. This is a lot of stars again. My my difficulty stuff is a little whack for some reason. We'll see in a second how I've grossly underestimated my opponent. But for now, I think I got this. Maybe. Like if this is if this is seriously all they've brought, then we're gonna go like over here, crash in, crash in over here, and we'll send you guys straight for what? That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's turn off this. I should see. This is the thing. Hadn't played in a little bit. Suddenly I'm forgetting how to like do basic keystrokes. Fortunately, we don't lose command points very much for that. So 
We'll put the Sandstorm and the Tier Morga up here. We do need a good drill name. Still need some good names for the Glimmers, but yeah, this, uh, this should work out fairly decently. Keyword being should. As long as I don't, like, fly right into the face of danger, which uh, the Glimmer's trying to do for me. And now we're getting the drill. Now we're getting our drill on. There we go. Let's set them on fire. Try to vent here. There we go. I think that drill's going to be MVP for a while. Because that's just ridiculous. It's just point and click, point, click, and kill. Okay, we have more laser fire we can do. We can just support you just a little bit with like this tiny, tiny tickle laser. That'd be fantastic. Look at us. It's like it's like we're running diagnostics on it. Okay. And now we're just shooting a giant stream of fire into space. But hey, I did damage. Really? Someone's trying to ram the drill. There's the tier Morga. Did I just die? Okay, I was about to say I didn't just die on accident. Die. That's I'm running into that problem again. I, maybe I need to put a mod that has like a big green arrow that says this is where your ship is, you moron. Um, pursue them. Second in command, do the thing. We'll send some uh, more frigates out there. It'll be fine. It's just a dram. And they're gone. Ship recovery. That is really not worth it. Okay, cool. Um, we have considered ship recovery. It is not worth my time. The pirates hate us because they ain't us. Got a high value prisoner again. And um, we completed a bounty. Hooray! It's very exciting. Cyanation Nation is only suspicious of us now. Hooray! We do not have enough crew to keep all combat ready ships ready. Uh, what? Okay, well, um, let's disable a combat ready ship then. Mothball Lowe's Loner. Okay, we're good. Apparently I was running a little too close to the sun with the crew numbers. Oh wait, no, I, I fought a friggin' Guardian. That would, that would definitely hurt my crew numbers a little bit. Even, even if we didn't end up, um, oh, we can actually, pick, can we pick up a free strike? I like strikes. It's a pirate strike too. <gasps> and it's a standard recovery. You bet your ass we're getting that one. Like I'm not, I'm not even going to take the time to look there. We're just going to get it. We're going to mothball it for now, but let's take a look here. Cause strikes, strikes are fun. Um, strikes have like a really good weapon profile loadout. Um, doesn't look like the pirate mod is particularly like different other than just stuff here, but it's but it's a fun destroyer. It's a it's a good, very well balanced vanilla destroyer. If you're playing the base game, Shrikes are definitely one of those ships to look out for. But I think there's actually nothing else here, so that's um that's fun. Hyperspace for 40 more fuel. We are burning through supplies like hell. We have 39 days to do this. 41 days to do this. I think we're going to do Operation go down here to the uh, Jolly Blue Giant that's unexplored, go to Green, and if we have time, go back up for the probe. That seems okay, because um, we need 73... Okay, well, we'll probably be fine on the repairs, but it's just a, it's just a little awkward here. Like, it's nice that we're doing more stuff. We're having... We're kind of, like I said in the last episode or in the episode before last. It's been a little while. We're finally getting to put ourselves in a bit more of a positive direction, even though we are dropping money every month anyway. Um, and that'll change as we get our colonies here. It's it's mainly on the back of having so many officers, which I love that we're running with so many officers. And then this wonderful outpost. Are we getting? Are we? Okay, I was gonna say that's. That's just the colony. That's fine. Are we having supply issues at the colony? Well, we're doing hazard pay. If we didn't do hazard pay, we'd be making money. Wow, what are my cats destroying now? Anyway, refining, refining is going good. I kind of want to build some other stuff here, but we're going to play that game later. We've got some other crap to do now and probably another ordo to dodge here in just a minute. We have another slipstream that we are going to do our best to avoid. Once again, we got to watch this. We got to watch this fuel ring. You gotta hope that the sensor ghosts don't turn into sensor ouchies. All right, so there is the blue super giant. We can probably duck in here and go dark. Hopefully, yep, definitely go dark. So these guys are raiding again. I don't exactly know what raiding means in the middle of a nebula. Maybe they're like having some kind of loop error or just constant crash in, crash out. 
Okay, so the dust world, well, it's a dust world, so. I don't know, we'll, we'll try to get that, but. Um, we don't know what's near here, but if it's a dust world, it's probably near one of the gas giants. So let's hop in and go dark, because that's fine. Hey, 50-50, nailed it. Um, and we have not too much else near here. I didn't check my bounties, which is a little scary, but dust world might actually be habitable it's definitely not habitable but we can uh, we can dare to dream did lose a little more supplies you paid me seventy thousand creds eighty thousand credits to uh look at that lemon okay so we have no choice now we got to go to Grim. if we fly the other direction we're we're toast fortunately um we can refuel there because one of the things and i've given this advice in multiple playthroughs and stuff and i've even burned myself on this before you want a way station. You want that to be one of the first things you build, especially if you build a colony out in deep space. You can see there's nowhere nearby that we can refuel. Yeah, maybe at Yig, but they you can't rely on them to have fuel, like being able to get it yourself. So that's a plus. Just checking my phone to make sure I'm not having anyone yell at me. And I think at this point, we just go straight back to Green, Pasco, collect $200 drop off some ships, re-up our fleet. Is that a debris field or is that just a bunch of asteroids? Let's do a quick scan anyway. I, this system doesn't seem very promising for stuff, so we got an Ordo over here too. So, oh, they're running from us. It's a remnant fragment. Do I want to fight them? I think I do. All right. Free fuel. That's a lot of supplies to deploy. I think we do it anyway, though, because you do. Our, I don't know what's up here, but our uh, challenge, we're getting like, the game's calling every fight super challenging. And I don't know if that's the mod. I don't know if I've recorded this because after I did, um, I, I made my guide videos today, too. Those should be up by the time this episode's out. Um, it was a completely different file path and everything. So I don't think that should have adjusted at all. But here we go. We got some crap over here. These things are really fast. Got some crap over here. These things are really fast. We got you. We got you guys here. Suddenly, suddenly, uh, destroyer. Not as much of the star of the show as just our uh, new hotness on the drill. But that's okay. Okay, we've got to we got to watch out for these drones. These have actually like obliterated us in the past. Uh oh. You're all weird and gross. Has been all weird and gross. That's why, once again, we, we take on the remnants with maximum prejudice. These things are not to be trifled with. And let's see if we can, uh, if they're immune to fire. Okay. Apparently you can set them on fire and it actually is a really good strategy. All right, good to know. So I don't know which one's the port side, which one's the stern side. And at this point, I don't really care. We're gonna do the fire side. And uh, maybe actually, like, try aiming at the thing. That's one of my problems, is that I'm used to pressing, like, shift and stuff. Oh, God. We just got torpedoed again, but it's okay. If we die, we die. I don't think we're going to die. But we are definitely going to get out of the way. There we go. Look! I did it! I did not explode, even though I stood right in the line of fire. Um, we have one more ship out here, so full assault's fine. I'd really hate to get glimmered. Here at the last possible second but yeah i need uh, what my problem is is that that i keep pressing shift which is what i which is what you're supposed to do when you have like your guns pointing forward and you want to constantly face your ship against the enemy and my habit i need to get back into is using my a and uh d keys to look at stuff here so we have ships available for recovery um so standard recovery we're not going to do difficult recovery not for a uh, lumen not today. The glimmers are just much better. We are going to recover you. Once again, we have a crew issue. But that's okay. Um, so let's... Um, who else can we mothball? I guess we also um, mothball... Well, the Indestructible 4 is uh, apparently indestructible. Baby Spice. Oh! Well, Scary Spice 3 is already in the fleet. You know, that's really silly that somebody mentioned that and I just totally missed it so let's uh let's go through our spices again should be fine 
I don't actually know all the ones I'm supposed to have. We'll fix this later, sooner. You know, we can we can fix that in a second because we're about to we're about to go home. Oh, but of course we need to actually go to the fleet screen and disable a ship. Uh, you're all weird. Um, might as well mothball you since um we can repair you in just a second. No, no offense, uh, rock forehead. It'll be fine. We don't want to get launched over here. Our supply count is getting a little perilous. Our fuel count's getting a little perilous. Our crew count is apparently getting a little perilous too. Um, how much crew? Why do why do we keep why do we keep having crew die? This is this is so strange to me. Okay. Um, if, don't mind if I do. There we go. We just don't want the uh, penalty for running with under crew here because our margins are pretty tight. If I'm having to guess, it's posh that we need. So I think we're going to make it. Hey, look, the Sindri and Dictat's no longer trying to kill the Reuter Union. Fun. Um, okay, that's not our place. We are uh, one short. Would be nice if we didn't get caught in the wrong gravity well, though, but we we should be okay as long as we don't have to run from an engagement. But even if we do have to run from a fight here, as we have we have something down here, I'm not going to investigate in the middle of a nebu in the middle of a hyperspace storm. But there is something we can potentially pick up. Do we make it home? Once again, the last we've had to like sort of skid out here and run out of fuel. I'm not exactly sure we'll be able to get to that probe in time. It's going to be really close. We're going to have to do a lot of... We're going to have to do like a really good pit stop here. Um, do we have any like new... Give me a... Give me a quest. Um, apparently we didn't get a quest. Uh, also, we're checking out the combat here versus the pirates. Glory of the stars. That, that lasher needs a name for getting two solo kills. I need to get the spreadsheet back out. Um... And then obviously the drill here. I, I started recording this totally unprepared. The Dawson tragedy obviously doing good work here. It's nice to see with a ship that is, with a whole group that is this combined arms, that we don't just have like one ship dominating. Everybody's doing work. I love it when the planets align like this because we can just go over here and uh, yump in here like it's nothing. I don't know what that unidentified entity is, but it's probably not going to kill us. And look, we have a salvage fleet that's up and around here. And we have a space station that is three stars to us. We're probably just about in position where we could start taking on um, space stations. So that's a plus. Um, let's see here. So if we visit the academy, I don't think we need to train anybody. I've been, I've been pretty good about stuff here. Technically... Technically, I guess that violates the rule that we can't level up officers, but we already had we already had to fix uh, Bobby B before Bobby B level capped out and we couldn't mentor him again. So that's not fair to Bobby B if we didn't do that. Um, so manage the colony. Talking like a real professional speaker, you're saying, um, all right. So this is the moment that we haven't been waiting for. And it's kind of the theme for the rest of the run here. Let's go ahead and put this stuff up here. We have three gamma cores to uh, potentially ditch to, so let's go ahead and uh, we have we have the wheel of actual doom, but we're gonna and uh, technically this is a terraformer brain print. That's not an AI core, so it doesn't it doesn't count. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna do this nice and simple here. We have to get rid of one of the, we have to get rid of one or two of these. Let's go ahead and put you put you up to. Because um, we can possibly trade these metals later. But we know we have to get rid of two of these. I'm just going to take a quick editing moment to fix some of this so that we can get random.org up. So before we get to the AI core festivities, we got to name some ships here. Obviously, the Queen of Jupiter seems pretty good, but we're just going to name you uh, what uh, Luxton suggested here is the Nutcracker. I know technically it was the SS Nutcracker, but I think just having a regular drill here... Should be totally, totally fine for that. 
Um, we do have uh, the DMS uh, this payment here, which I mean, I have to go for Yao Vang's suggestion here of Mariah Carey, because it's a carrier, we get it. Um, and then we had um, one more down here. That was uh, the glory of the stars down here. And that we will call, from then no, the Torment Amplifier. There are some new uh, name suggestions I've gotten in previous comments as well. I need to figure that out. But Torment Amplifier fits this one because there's it, this is a Reaper boat. And Reaper boats are very exciting. How much does it cost to restore Lowe's Loner? That's going to be a no. I mean, it looks good, but that's going to be a no. Also, um, Tier Morga. Since we're docked, we have we have some really good like weapons available to us. I need to, I need to think about some of the stuff for some of the stuff for a second. So I will I will do that here in the future. But for now, it's time to um, pull up our good friends over at random.org. That's not what we want. Go to the correct website. Here we go. That was the spreadsheet random.org second try is as good as any um it's very simple we have the possible result of one or two and we have the ai course so our ai core situation we currently have nine and i've lost the pointer on screen but that's okay we'll fix this here we're gonna go for we're gonna go for our alpha core first so random.org do we get to actually keep the alpha core if we do um you know what let's do instead of one and two let's do zero and one so zero is going to be death one is going to be life we're losing 50 percent of the core so for any time we get an odd number of cores in our stack it's going to be um one we get the higher two or zero we get the lower so alpha core ready three two one we keep it. Oh man. Okay. Alpha core, you're safe. Beta cores, we have three. Do we get to keep two or one? Okay, we get to keep one beta core and then gamma cores. We have um, nine of them. Do we get to keep five or four? We get to keep five. Okay. That was strangely merciful. Obviously, you got to butt, cl butt clench a little bit with the alpha cores, but now we have um, one alpha core up here. Five gammas, one beta. And then can we, I guess we can't technically space or destroy these yet, but they, they will have to be destroyed. Maybe we launch them to the sun. I, I, there's, you can't really, can't really do that. I'm sure there's something we can do. We'll just let them rot in space, I guess. All right. That means I should probably install that alpha core onto something here on the colony. We have a lot of uh, good possibilities. I was kind of wanting to put it on like a more profitable industry. Um, like for instance, I was looking at once again, void extraction for our next industry when we unlock it. I think that's going to be our best bet for an alpha core. It's going to give a really high return. So since we're not losing that alpha core, I think I'm going to sit on it and save it. Even though we do have some other options here, the variable assembler is currently building ship components. I think we want to keep it doing that. And the reason for that is um, we can just build a variable assembler on another planet to um, build some of this other stuff, like the heavy machinery, which would also be good. So I may just build a second heavy assembler. We got some got some other crap here. We have not been able to build a Reuter dives yet, so we haven't been able to leave the Reuter Union officially yet. But it is it is on the table. All right. So we need some crew. Um, that's fine. Let's refill our fuel. That's fine. Let's buy. We're gonna we're gonna have to make some repairs here. So see, that's that's most of our money gone. But we also did some building since the last time. We have some other ships we could definitely take on here. Like I could get the uh, Elisa Castigator uh, Raider Assault Cruiser. That could be good. Didn't I build some other stuff, or is that at the other planet? I think that's actually. At the other planet we'll check that in just a second um, because that one seems good let me let me actually take a moment to do something else real quick all right i just wanted to check and see some info here uh, let's let's think for a second here 
because I think with ballistics integration here reduces the ordnance point cost of large ballistics. This is a large energy weapon, so we're not getting a good bang for our buck at all with this. Um, and these are all these are all other big energy things here. So if we just go with ballistics. And technically we can buy legal? What? Okay, anyway. Um, Storm Needler, fun. Goss, Remnant Cannon. That seems really interesting. Anti-Shield. Um, wow. That's, um, range is increased by 300 units when placed on an energy mount. Well, I guess it's not that. The Styx Kinetic Driver, the Alteria Heavy Railgun. Um, this seems good. Like I said, I really like this, but I'm a little scared of the flex per shot. <laughs> um, it does have a refire delay of just a little bit here. The heavy railgun is kinetic, which is definitely good. This this range is beautiful. Uh, AM warhead detonates to hit the armor and hull for additional 10 to 50 energy damage. That has a really long refire delay. Um, you know what? This is, this is the kind of thing where typically I would like do a bunch of stuff off camera, but we have a remnant gun. Let's just strap a giant remnant gun onto this and we'll see how it goes. I mean, um, we have accelerated shields, reinforced bulkheads. There's a lot of other things we um, could put in here. We have targeting optics, which is nice. Metabolic construction, which is cute. Integrated targeting is something that I do have now. So... We definitely want reinforced bulkheads, accelerated shields. This does not have a full shield arc, so that might actually be pretty good. But considering we're doing a lot of other shit at range, like this has an Arbalest autocannon, can we possibly put something better on there? I'm not sure. Like a ragtime mortar. Seems fun. Okay, that's 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 kind of a lot of vents to get rid of here, but we could start trying to build in some stuff too. But let's do the um, integrated targeting unit. We're not putting in some of the uh, Volkov things, although I could, because once again, story points are at a little bit of a premium. But anything we can do to uh, increase the range based on hull size would be really nice here, especially since we're going to be firing some super mega possibly flux shots here. All right, so auto assign is fine. I won't be flying this ship this series, so it's okay. But the Gauss cannon, the Gauss cannon is like super hungry, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, I think all the other loadouts are pretty good. I have no idea how the laid law accelerator is doing though, so I should pay a little closer attention to that. But yeah, um, pretty happy there. Com directory, we have a mercenary officer that looks a little scary. I, that's right. The other thing I wanted to check were were our ships here. We had a giant build order of shit that we made. And now I'm just looking here saying, are our weapons here? Or are, are our weapons somewhere else? It may actually be on the uh, other place. I guess we'll find out here in just a second. Although some of the stuff definitely is... Um, Looks big and is nice and is very exciting. But the great part is that I'm going to get it wrong and you all are going to let me know where I screwed up. So thank you ahead of time for your service. Um, if we open the comm directory here, we have our... Uh, this is where our pirate contact and a literal arms dealer is. Um, unsanctioned bounty board, Mendoza Red. Um, extreme danger, cool. Um... And there's a rackish man over here. Um, you want me to deliver a specified item in Big Ping, which actually takes us back to the Core Worlds. Um, Big Ping is actually not occupied right now, so I will accept that. Um, let's see here. Manage the colony. We still got to ditch these things. What do we have in storage? Here we go. Heavy laid law accelerator. We know this one's good. Um, laid law mash driver also good gatling <laughs> lance these are these are just fun thing project silk large general hybrid counts as energy for stat modifiers counts as energy so project cashmere requires ballistic or energy slot um 
this is the one that y'all are suggesting is like incredibly good. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get working. That looks like a. I don't know. We're gonna. We're just gonna um, take these with us for now and drop them off at the other place here. Assuming I can't actually like find a place that wants to equip them right now. Like worst case scenario is that we just put the heavy lathe law accelerator on here. But um, I I do want to see how this works. I, I want I want it to do good. Um, we don't have too many other ships with like large hard points though. That's where that's where we want to look at our uh, second cruiser potentially. Do we have any other ships to pick up here? We don't, huh? I guess I just bought weapons instead of ships. Maybe that's because I tried to get some frigates built from uh, our other contact, the Reuter contact. Still, it's fine. Let's go ahead and... Um, how many destroyers do I get to have? Six? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, unless I'm wrong. Okay, we'll, we'll re-equip that one real quick. Um, and then we have... Let's do this here. Scary Spice. If we don't have Posh... I don't even know what number we're on now, so we're going to say Posh 5. So that's nameless. User error name unknown. Can't spell it. And once again, someone's going to tell me that that's, that's there too. But still, very exciting. Com directory arms dealer any work for me discreet smuggling operation tell me more 66 units of recreational drugs uh, the local authorities here and this is um, probably not a great idea considering it's the diktat so we're gonna we're gonna decline that for now we want we want you to build more stuff for us so that's fine let's go up here see if we can re-equip other things should be fine. Let's do the auto fit. I've been liking how the auto fit's been working out here. Um, heavy blaster. That's a bold choice. Like I said, we have a laid law accelerator here, so that's a medium slot. Um, all right. Let's just let's just park some of this stuff in here. We can uh, we can play with it later. Actually, laid law mash driver also. Those are also really good. Can only store resources. The, I'm really happy with how the sandstorm's doing, so I am not going to mess with that today. We'll put the laid law accelerator in the thing. I'd hate to lose my fleet all of a sudden and uh, lose all my ships. We got to unmothball you. Got to unmothball, unmothball, which means we got to do a few more repairs. There we go. How many supplies do we have left? I think I think we got time to do a little more. Um, we need a, we need a little bit more crew, because I forgot where we were at there. We need a few more supplies, and now we're running debt. So what else is new, right? Um, cool. So there's probably something very important that I forgot that I'm doing here. Um, yeah rip they just have to be destroyed so we will let them like wither in space and die okay cool um how many days do i have left for this accepted contract 15 days did i like gain days here maybe oh and this takes us up this takes us up north i haven't really been up north above these systems very much but we can we can definitely do this especially since hmi is up here Anything we can do for extra money is great. So Hinnan posted a reward here. Probe is located at the heart of the Oberon star system. Thank goodness. Not that there's many options because it's a red dwarf, but... Hey, look, there's a rebellion in preparation. Well, I'm glad they uh, tilted their hand there for that. But I think I think we're getting close. Orbital station high-tech at... Oh, did we really take that long? Okay, it finished construction. So that'll that's going to help with stuff. Um, this is a planet where mining would be really good, but I do need to put another patrol HQ in here as well. It's not going to be our, like our head patrol HQ place. Should probably see what that is. Okay, we don't care about the nebula, even if it like has some super crazy officer in it. We have a we have an order that will actually kill us. 
So let's try not to do that. Fortunately, we're faster than them. Um, we just got to watch out because where there's one, there are many. Many? It's, that's the thing. That's one of the things that, oh, we're, we're not broke. Um, okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, one of the things when I used to get vocal coaching is that I had to learn how to not use my southern accent and say, we have many things here. Yeah, I used to have a much stronger southern accent than it is now gone. All right, so deep in the heart of Texas, not where I'm from. I have been there briefly just to fly through the massive Dallas airport. Um, and if you've never been there, it is massive. Here's a probe. We don't want no scrub probes. We just want a probe that's probably been baked in the sun for too long or been ripped apart. Double tap. And then I think we got time to do just a little bit more business here because we need to make a little bit of money. We can probably skip through the core worlds real quick, maybe, possibly. Um, we also have this drop that we need to do. This is kind of just a favor for our, uh, for our friendly neighbors here. So I think what I'm going to try to do is to go left and see if we can get some other stuff around here. I kind of want to visit... Um, Ikari again just to see just to make sure I'm not leaving anything there So let's see if we can let's see if we can do that Wouldn't it be nice but Yeah, like I said, this is this is kind of the interesting point in the star sector game where once again I only have one cruiser. I can have two cruisers, but I'm not gonna rush it I want to make sure that what I get is gonna be something that fits what my fleet needs and um I have options back at home. I probably should have actually taken that pirate cruiser with me, but I didn't. So we're just gonna we're just gonna work with what we have for now here. Uh, kitten, that's Kitten, but we have a distress beacon from there. I feel like this is a terrible place to go. Um, I love how the jet streams are just kind of screwing over the map progress pretty hard, but. Okay, we have an Ordo here. Fun. It's a fragment, not an Ordo. I need to get my vocabulary right. And we're going to get shoved up here a little bit. That's actually fine. All right, but yeah, just kind of just kind of looking forward to the next episode because this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Some of that's because of work. Some of that's just because it's the nature of the beast. I've had a few episodes in a row that have like gone over the hour mark. And we've had some pretty good eventful things here for only being halfway through level 10. Um, and maybe we'll pick one more fight, or maybe we won't. I don't know. Um, one of the big things I've just got to keep ahead of is my debt while I continue to build colonies. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to go tall instead of wide. Which means that I'm going to be focusing on less colonies instead of building all the colonies. That's a scary fleet. Like I said, we're trying to go to um, Ikari, which is pretty much due west. So I think that's going to be a decent point to wrap up today's video. As I said before, I am still happy to take offers, suggestions. You are on a salvage expedition. Uh, what? Okay, I was about to say, if they're coming for me, I will come around and beat them. But they really shouldn't. Because that's just a bunch of cargo ships. We have another group right here, and we have another group right here. Um, tri is apparently at war with um, the Reuter Union. I forgot about that. Saturation bombardment has arrived in system. Oh boy. Um, I said I wanted to go to Akari. Did I pick the wrong time? Is the weather not great this time of year? I may actually have to stop this episode on a bit of a cliffhanger. And that's okay. Let's go before the saturation bombardment team gets there let's go ahead now that we are not totally broke actually we're, we're doing pretty good on expenses here we have another unidentified contact we can see them and it looks like it's another tri fleet whatever it is it's massive it's unidentified it has its bacon off it is special task group we probably can't help with that very much but the Reuters, on the other hand, they have a lot of good stuff going on for them here. Kingdom of Terra, 
we're not allies with them, so we can't really defend them. And we have a security patrol over here, so that's cute. Did Tritech lose their planet? No, they didn't. So they're up at Togar Exchange. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Do you have any work for me before your uh, planet's taken over? Um, surplus Nanoforge uh, opportunity here, or special pirate fleet bounty that actually takes us... Um, oh, it's raiding a pirate base. Well, apparently I accepted it, so that's what we're doing. Um, selection from my own blueprints. We need some more frigates, man. Let's look at let's look at the frigates real quick. Like this is I could start to think about an ox tug, but I'd rather do like a. Yo, know, do we have any? We have a carrier frigate. It's a shepherd. Phase frigates. We don't really need combat here. You know what? These are the things that we weren't supposed to have. So do we do the glance wolf A or configuration A or configuration B? Small hybrid in a fighter bay. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of words there, but at the end of the day, we're going to build both. And then we can build another lamprey as well. I mean, the alternative is getting something like a swordsman, which is fine. I'm not really impressed with those frigates. They die, like, if you sneeze on them. Um, the Zaffins, kind of the same situation here. Norlashers are fine. Brawler might be fun. Talos isn't terrible. I think a lay pass. Probably not how that's pronounced at all. It's fine. Okay, that's that's okay. Once again, we're building a little bit more rep, which is good. Um, selling things. We don't have too much to sell today. And we, we came in on the black market, so whoops. Fortunately, nobody, like, seemed to care very much, so that's fun. Um, all right. Do we have any ships in storage? We do. So we have two of these that are built. Um, that's excellent. And then nothing else really to buy. We could buy one of their cruisers, potentially. I'd hate to hard buy it when there's so many other options that we've had out here. I'm really happy with the Firestorm, though. Um, like a ranch ranch, like the dressing, a ranch ca custom carrier could actually be what our fleet needs. I just don't want to be flying Reuter stuff in it. And honestly, a, um, it has four fighter bays. So why is it only showing two up there and what it comes with? I guess that's what it comes with there. That, that may be something to target. Um, we can't buy it off the black market though. Stalker is also a really fun ship. Lots of options available. Oh boy. Uh, we need to buy fuel. We don't have much money for fuel, though. Um, how far can we fly with what we got? We can make it. We can make it there and back. I think we'll. I think we'll be okay, especially if we can take advantage of potentially any sort of uh, stuff here that's close in order. We have a faction bounty, which is fun. Faction bounty, pirates. That's a little scarier. Um, personal bounty over here as well. We won't be able to get some of these things done. But yeah, um, it's a it's a very exciting part of the Star Sector save because things are um, opening up and that means the world's getting more dangerous, but so are we. And that's kind of the balance that I like to strike. But let's go ahead, do this up here, and uh, we're going to call this an episode today. So this is Asher. Thanks for watching. I, like I said, I'd love to go on longer, but this is kind of the right place to end it. And we, we did get sort of reasonably close to an hour anyway. wasn't trying to fill time, but I, I kind of did anyway. So y'all have a good one. I appreciate y'all being here. Definitely leave your thoughts, feedback, etc., etc. And we will do this again soon. Y'all take care.